That is a horse that I could get some leather from. Haha. <laughs> I have gotten the leather. Is my why is my headset not, head not giving me audio yet? Odd. Probably just a bit of lag from everything. And sleep since it is in fact nighttime. I didn't get any leather off that horse, which kind of sucks because that means I just jumped and killed a horse for no reason. But you know, we're at 40 followers. That is insane. I don't know when we have 40 followers, but that is awesome and crazy and cool. And I apologize for the weird noise in the background because the dog is the dog. Let me out. Oh, I can hear it in my headphones. It's just really quiet. Excuse me, Jesus. I had like a hic weird hiccup thing. I have to finish this, at least the exterior, I'm thinking. The interior might be able to wait a little longer. The exterior needs to be finished. I just can't decide how I want to do the roof part as a well. whole. Because I did the partial roofs here, I'm thinking I probably have to do the same to the top, but I was hoping to keep it flat, so maybe I'll only do it like one or two? Hi! It just looks too incomplete with just the plain flat, is all. But we need more dark oak for that, and we need to get to working on that. I would like to finish at least the exterior, for sure. Um, I also played some Slime Rancher off stream, so I'll have a bunch of updates for that when I play it again, maybe on Friday, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, probably not tomorrow, actually, because I wanted to do projects tomorrow. I really need to do projects so I can get my witchy shelf all set up and everything. Today is going to be a bit of a shorter stream because I did get a late start. Um, it's been pretty busy this morning slash today in general, so I haven't had the time to, like, get on stream as quickly as normal. I was doing work right before this. Um, so now I'm on and I have whatever time is available to be able to finish this little project time frame. Let's do these. I don't know if I need any of these, but I'll take them for now. Um, we're using dark oak as stairs, so, and as, uh, Fences, so we need more fences and we need more stairs. Alright. We need some more spruce stairs, I think. There we go, and then we need some lanterns. Do we need that many? Probably not. Did I grab that many anyways? Yep. Alright, let's do the- I want to do this exterior bit we started doing all the way around to see how it looks. I want to do it all the way around on the bottom here to see what it looks like and how it ties in the build. I think it'll add a decent amount of tying in everything together a little better. I think I was doing what, three? Or was I doing two? Three. Jesus. Nixie, would you stop? I apologize for the loud noise. It was louder in person than it is over the mic, I promise you. She decided to hear one little tiny noise and go haywire for some reason. She's still going. She has no reason to be, and she won't listen to me all day. So it's been fantastic dealing with this dog. Nix. Quiet. You know what quiet means. Stop. I don't know why she's so on it today, but she always is at least once. She's going to be even worse later because it later is going to get really busy and it's going to involve my dad, which I can't say the term she knows for him because she will go haywire. Um, because of the whole my partner totaling his truck, he has to go get what he wants off of it at the tow yard before it gets brought to the scrap yard and... 
we don't have a truck bed to put said things he wants into. My dad does, so I had to ask my dad for help, and then um, my dad also won't be over this way normally, so he's like going way out of his way to do it, and it's like this whole roundabout plan thing, because we have to meet up here so that Nixie can see him, so that she doesn't freak out about it, because fun if, if she uh, if she sees him like we've been out and about before and run into him if she sees him outside of the vehicle and she can't get to him she will sit there barking her head off and freaking out like i need to see you i need to see you i need to see you um so we're trying to have him come here first we have to have him come here first um i'm gonna get rid of these ones so that she can see him and like get her initial freak out out of the way and then afterwards we'll have to figure something else out for the ride probably do um i'll probably have to bring my vehicle even though it won't be that useful besides maybe the tools i have in my vehicle um so that she can stay in that while we do it because she can't really be we'll be too busy to like keep her on leash since we'll have to need all of our attention and like have the free hands to be able to take things apart and move things and all that. Um. Hmm. I guess we'll probably just do this as this and then dirt maybe? Um. Yeah, so it's gonna be a bit of a mess, but eventually we'll figure it out and it'll be fine somehow um but that's what the plan is for today which is stressing me out and dealing with too much at once because it's a lot to handle of like trying to plan that and the dog stuff and a bunch of other money stuff that he keeps throwing at me because he's trying to deal with all of that at once and it's like yep i i am good i'm all done with focusing on that for right now and having to have the brain power to do all of that right now all set on that, but eventually it'll be figured out, um, it'll just take some time to get everything down to the right setup and everything and getting everything all figured out at once, that's not what I meant to do, I guess I'll make it into that, um, I meant to make spruce, for, there we go, alright, um, yeah, eventually it'll be figured out, but Right now it's a lot and it's very overwhelming. Come on. Nope, that's not what I need. Okay, fine, we'll do it this way. Um But yeah, so later today we'll be very busy, which is why this will be a very brief stream because I already started a little late. And then add to the fact that uh, add on to it the fact that um I don't have much time before he gets home to like get her ready and get myself ready and all that and then figure out later on when my dad's going to be here and all that because my dad won't be here until later on since um he has his own work during the day that obviously he can't just drop everything and get out early from so I don't particularly want to ask him to do so. I think we'll do the same on both of these areas. But, like, what we do down here will be different, maybe. I'm not sure. Although, I guess we could do this. Break it up a little. This is kind of a bland and boring way to decorate it, but I think it helps break up the big old wood plank area without it being too heavy on the adding in a bunch of stuff, and it also helps it still look like the same structure, the same structure without getting too skewed. I think I'm going to do the same thing I did on the house where we have the little out sticks here. Um, just out of habit and out of it usually makes sense since if these are beams they would usually have a, some builds, uh, some type of architecture would have it sticking- oh! sticking out some. See, no. No, you're not gonna do that. Next. Bring your toy over here and come lay down. 
I really need to find bamboo at some point in this build, uh, in this world, so that we can have scaffolding to make my life much, much easier. I think. Don't uh, wandering traders sell it? Aren't wandering traders supposed to sell bamboo? I don't remember. That is such an awful noise for my brain to hear. I apologize. Nixie likes to chew on her. Plays very obnoxiously, and it's a very yucky sound. Because teeth on silicone is not always the best noise. She has a uh, like alligator toy that I got her that um, is supposed to help kind of keep her teeth a little healthier and help her kind of brush her teeth while she's playing. It has um, a squeaker in it and has a bunch of ridges and it has like a whole section basically where the alligator's teeth would be is like. Um, a bunch of little silicone bristle like things that are inlaid into it and then you can put um, like the dog toothpaste or her favorite treat or something in there and then she has to kind of like bite and lick at it to get to it so it'll help with her teeth and gums and stuff I don't know but I need to brush her teeth more but I haven't gotten that far because I need a uh, human toothbrush instead of a dog toothbrush the dog toothbrush sucks and it doesn't work right and it uh usually just irritates her more than anything so I guess we'll let this stay the same and do like um host lantern or something Do a lantern in the middle here since that one doesn't have a uh, odd spot to fill in. This one has the odd spot to fill in. This one does as well. I was very sure that I was going to fail at least one of those jumps. Yeah, her, um, her dog style toothbrush doesn't work very well. It's more so an irritant for her than an actual useful tool. So I'm thinking I'm going to get just a normal person one that's a little, that's like much softer bristles. So maybe like a kid one or something so it doesn't bug her teeth or her. Um, gums too much to use, and then just go from there type of thing, with seeing how that works and how she responds to it. Yeah, I think that works alright. And the simple little addition that doesn't quite uh, mess up any of the lands, and it doesn't really look too far out of place, but it also doesn't look boring and like super the same. Um, I also will be adding a bunch of decor in here because we just did very basic starter stuff but I don't want to do that right now. I'm focusing on the exterior first since the exterior is much easier and quicker to complete compared to full on interior decor. Alright, so I'm thinking about doing I guess I'm gonna have to do it the way that I did the other ones where it's just a typical roof. Um, but what I can do is do it only a couple high instead so that it's not taking up the roof too much and so that I can still have a roof platform and that it's not like a big dome. I don't want it to be a big dome roof like the house basically is all I mean. Where's the center here, right here? So I'll do... Hmm. 
Nope. Neither of those were where I, what I meant. That's still not what I meant. There we go. One of these buttons has a bit of a squeak to it. I can hear it when I go to adjust. I think it's my um, L1. So I think we can do like a little rooftop area here where we make it more so a flat platform with fencing. So what I would do is do the same here, 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 and here, like that, and then do fencing. Do I have any more fences? I do not. I probably will need more than 24 more fences in the lifetime of this build. And I think I'll do a full round because I don't typically want to jump off this high of a balcony when I'm jumping off of things to do quick shortcuts. Something like this. And then we'll do around here to interconnect it to this. We're going to need a lot of dark oak stairs to do this. This is a very big build. Um, as far as other updates, I should be streaming on Friday for sure. I might stream Thursday. I was going to stream yesterday, but by the time I remembered it was already pretty late. I had been playing uh, Slime Rancher in the background of doing other things, so I like, was sitting in it and then doing, like, sitting, letting it all kind of spawn and do its own thing, and then coming back and doing some stuff, and then so on. She's really loud about doing all that thing. <laughs> um, believe it or not, she's on the other end of the couch from me. Um, but yeah, so I kept doing that off and on, and I was gonna, like, stream it, and then by the time I remembered it, it was just kind of a big, like, I had already gotten farther into it than I meant to, and it was kind of pointless to stream, especially when I didn't have as much time. I assume you're asking PS Pluses and playing with other people, and I'm not playing multiplayer right now. This is my solo world, and I'm in the middle of a build. <laughs> like, 80% of the people that watch me are like, hey, play with me, play with me, play with me, and I'm like, give me a minute, I'd like to finish my build project. Nixie, you are very loud, honey. Um, my voice is also kind of wonky, I don't know why. My throat's always a little wonky lately. Probably leftovers of the fact that it's cold out and leftovers for what I had RSV, which was really bad and not a great experience at all. But, um, yeah, I don't remember what else I was saying. Uh, tomorrow I may or may not stream mainly. I should be able to stream, but the thing is, is whether I want to or not, because I have a bunch of other projects that I want to do that don't involve gaming, um, that I wanted to get done and complete. But I don't know if I'll be able to do said projects or if I'll want to do said projects 
so it kind of depends on what my motivation is and it depends on what timing I have from like the other stuff I have to get done um, I'd love to just spend the whole day working because I have a lot of work to catch up on and I am extremely broke so work would be kind of nice to have so I could actually you know have an income um, but I don't think that I, uh, I can work very easily with the dog during the day because although it has been a little easier to like just shut the door and she'll mostly stay outside of the door and leave it alone but um for the most part she's usually pretty clingy and struggles with a really heavy separation anxiety so she kind of just like ignores every time that I tell her to stay downstairs when I go upstairs to do work and next thing you know she's upstairs in the second bedroom where I do my work and she's gonna be like thumping around with her tail because her tail does more damage than her walking around and she messes up a bunch of stuff and on and on. Um, I can for the most part kind of like shut the door and just do my own thing and she won't bother too bad. Uh, she won't like whine or anything she'll just kind of eventually come upstairs and then just sit outside the door but still even then it's a little complicated and I'm trying to like finish up fast that I don't get her too riled up or get her too stressed out or that sort of thing so it's a big mess she is going at that toy so bad <laughs> I apologize I know that's not the best noise in the background But, um, yeah, so during the day it's not that easy to get work done, and then, uh, I usually wait till after he gets home, but then once he gets home I usually get distracted with other things like household tasks and, um, cooking dinner and all that eventually. So it's like this never-ending cycle of just not getting it done. Hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna... I can probably make it as, like, a one of those like windows that I made maybe do it like this to make it a little taller and a little less um, in the way of getting out of the I guess I could just use the slaps a little less in the way of the um, ladder I don't even know if I want the roof to be that tall is the thing. Hmm. Because it's kind of tall for the roof. Maybe just do it specifically that tall, like just end it off right above that. So do it. Let's get up to that level with the regular stuff and see. This presents a whole nother area of interior decor to do as well, but oh well. Eventually I'll get around to it. Holy heck, puppy dog. That is not a nice noise. Ooh, ooh, that's not nice either. I hope to hell I don't have another ear infection starting. Fun fact about uh, my pain tolerance, which is really irritating, most of the time when I get sick or in pain, I don't know what the sick or in pain is until well past when I should know about it because of the fact that I have such a high pain tolerance that my body pretty much ignores it until I'm in extreme pain and then it reacts to the extreme pain, um, which creates a whole issue of uh, me being in a lot of pain without really having any solution because it's so like sudden and it's not easy to get into doctors because the US is fun um, 
and just because doctors and stuff are busy and obviously anywhere you can't like get into a doctor the same day or the next day a lot of times without going into something like urgent care or something dedicated to that sort of situation um so whenever I have like really sharp ear pain all of a sudden I'm like no please I don't want to deal with it please don't be true but and how much I can do about it besides just hope it's not the case and keep paying attention to it that's not what I meant to do now I have a bunch of iron bars yuck now how are we gonna do this entryway probably um Probably do a connection like this. Do that and then do slabs probably and just make it something like that. And there we go. Simple little doorway. Um, we can probably add at least one other, one or two other of these windows so that it doesn't look like it's a sore random area. Although, I kind of don't mind it being just random. But we should, should probably at least add one more. Since they're easy enough to make and you can kind of place them wherever. Like do one big one on each end or something and a couple small ones. I don't know where the middle is of this. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I wanna say is the middle. I wanna say this is the middle. Looks about right. So what if we did like a three wide? Here. I think we're gonna do just a slab roof on top of this level of build, so that's why I'm just kind of leaving it because I think this will be the. Although, actually, I probably have to do one more. Um, I probably have to do one more level of stairs to tie everything together a little better. Once I finish these window spots, just because it'll, as much it'll make as much as it'll make it much higher than I want it to be, it'll kind of tie in all of these windows much better. That we're doing, it'll make it a little easier of a build as far as how it looks. Middle, yes. like this You know what I can do? <laughs> I don't want to count all of that. I can just find it via uh, 
third person mode. This should be the center. And then we can even do one based off of the uh, center over here. So like this right here. Not that. And then something like this. Something like that for these and spawned on top of the build, but alright. And this one will just be a little one like this. Where it just kinda just barely shows. Man's is gonna jump off a roof. Hello? That's a roof, be careful. You have bamboo for me? You don't. Okay, I really don't care that much if you jump off the roof then. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We're just gonna let him do his thing and figure his life out on his own. You gotta learn somehow, I guess. And if jumping off the side of a gigantic roof to learn that you in fact are not invincible and probably shouldn't spawn on top of a roof is the case, then, well, don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm thinking is we can do a little... like this to tie in the windows. And then the normal smaller ones will just probably get a, um, just like a regular like slab covering, but because these are bigger I'll use stairs to tie them in so they're not just kind of wonky. One of these days we're going to get too distracted building this and just suddenly be dive bombed by uh, phantoms. That's fine.
Thank gosh I still have more stairs. I was really worried I was going to have to go get more stairs right now. I most likely will end up destroying these slabs, but I'm using them as a guideline. To make it a tiny bit easier to build. and then what I'm thinking is just do one slab up. We'll just do that all the way around. It sounds like I'm hitting the trigger more aggressively than I actually am because of how clicky it is. Like, it sounds like I'm absolutely slamming the trigger at all times, and I'm really not. Yeah, we're gonna need more dark oak wood to finish this. And some of the uh, brown glass to fill in these roof window ideas. And we need to sleep so we don't start getting dive bombed by phantoms at random. Hey, it kind of rhymes. I need some more dark oak wood. We need to put away the uh, piece of wool we got, and we need the glass, and we need uh, to put away the stack of torches we have because we're going to be making up more. And we also need to put away the uh, stack of iron bars we made on accident because we don't need those right now. Not bad. I probably should do actually more layers, to be honest. I just really didn't want to originally, but now it looks like I'm gonna have to because of how I built it, which is fine, I guess. It'll look alright. Why was it not letting me place the slab the way I wanted to? That was weird.
Alright, let's pick up all the drop stuff. Let's get rid of the extra... Oh, we already did, okay. I even do it as a flat top roof to be honest, not as a one slab up. Minz is living his life on the edge. He is on the very corner of the build. It's also Girl Scout cookie season, and I am completely broke because of all this stuff going on. So I have to figure out how I can afford some Girl Scout cookies, because I always want to get those, because they're very good. And because I like all the whole, like, supporting kids in their little competition stuff. Like, I actually bought a bunch, um, we actually just bought a bunch of, of fudge from a, uh, fundraiser from his friend's little sister, just for the sake of helping for the fundraiser. I mean, like, I like fudge, but I definitely didn't need, like, four different orders of it, that's for sure. Um, it was more so to support her and, like, because I didn't know if it was, like, our school fundraisers where you get different prizes for selling a lot, too, so I wanted to give her a little bit of help with that, because I used to love getting all the different, like, prizes and fundraisers. I was, <laughs> back in school, I was always, like, the highest selling for the fundraisers because of the fact that my dad used to bring me door to door throughout like our whole town because I was one of like maybe three kids that had been that were in my grade that were in that town since it was the town next door to the school we were in um and it's a small town it's residents are something like 2000 or something like that I think it's a small town anyways um and uh especially compared to the town that we went to school in because the town that we were going to school in was around seven to eight thousand residents at the time, but it's more by now. Um, and the amount of kids that actually were from my age group that were in that town weren't very many. There was only two or three of us, and they never, the other two or three never really went that far. Like, it's a fairly large, small of a um, population it has, so like. I could have pretty much mo two thirds of the town to myself because if they did go to door to door to door, they'd only do it on their street and usually they'd just kind of give it to their parents to let their parents bring it around at work or whatever instead of going door to door, um, which is smarter because it actually told you on the fundraisers not to go door to door because, uh, you know, child safety. But uh, my dad would go with me all the time anyways and he it was his idea for everything because he was used to it back when he was a kid when it was all just, you'd go get sales like that. Um, so yeah, so anyways, I would always go door to door throughout a bunch of town and I'd get over a thousand dollars worth of sales for the fundraiser and it was like, it always made me like the top or one of the few top students for this for the fundraiser every single time and it was kind of funny because um, a lot of kids be like, oh my god, how did you sell that much? And I'd be like, um, people? Like, I'd just go to people's houses, I guess? I don't know. Like, can't really explain that because it'll probably get me in trouble but anyways but yeah it was it was how I used to always do it and I remember like I used to always be excited for all the little prizes you'd get for being um at certain uh certain marks of how many you had gotten in sales and then for like being the top seller and all that stuff so it was cool back when we did fundraisers for uh my school though 
Back when we did fundraisers for my school, though, it was much different than it is now. It was, like, it always changes little by little over the years. And back then, it was a lot more of, like, prize-based and kind of fun and interesting and involved. And now it's more so just kind of... And we do it for different topics, too. And now it's more so just kind of doing fundraisers to pay for specific little things. Like, I think her fundraiser is for paying for, like, her class prom and all that stuff. And it's like, mine was for winter programs so that we could go do skiing and stuff. I don't know. Like, it was it was definitely much different uh, of a time. And it still, it still is changing all the time, but it was much different back then of, like, what we did fundraisers for and what we were doing and stuff for school. Um, and there used to be, like, prize letters where you, like, had, if you sold this amount, you get this. If you sold this amount, you get this. And for hers, it's kind of just, like, a simple, like, yep, you just have to sell. Here's, here's the fundraising thing. Here's how you fundraise. Have fun. Um, <laughs> which isn't the worst thing. I mean, it's good to not encourage kids to go door to door because, uh, or to, like, really heavily work because it could mean going door to door. Um... And I mean, I guess still, even without prizes, there are plenty of kids that would still do pretty hard work for their class fundraiser if they want to do. But it just it's just different than what it used to be. Which just happens. That's how the world works. For now, I'm just doing this as a... Not what I meant to do. As a, uh... A little simple way to get a little lighting in here. Um, then we need the glass. Something like that for the edging. There we go. This will probably just make like a beam that goes across. There's a little addition. And as a way to have some places to hang lights and just as a little bit of a way to spruce up the build a little. There we go. Because then we can hang lights off of it as well, so like instead of having them down here on these, we could just have them hanging off of this. I don't know what I'll do for this section, just something like that probably, and cut these out so that we can still fit the glass. Actually, we could just take these out entirely and do a third glass. Like that. And do that. And then we have like. And then we have this little one, which we can just fill in like this. With another little lantern. Probably like here. Something like that. So it's got lighting without being a little too crowded and everything. And then we can do um, probably some 
fences and fence gates. To get out. There we go. Can't I technically do I can. Yeah, but it won't right. It won't work right. Cause it wants to. Yeah, it won't work right. Cause it wants to connect to the other part. So that is pointless. Do it like that, and then we can do like little hanging lanterns here. Mans is only being held alive by his singular llama. His other llama's down there somewhere. Let's do a simple little rooftop area like this. We've got no. There we go, we've got a little rooftop area. It's not perfect, but it'll work for now. And then we'll add more decor to that when we're doing the rest of the interior decoration. Since right now I'm not focused on the interior decor, I just want it to kind of have an exterior overall look that makes sense. Let's see how it looks. Not bad. It definitely could look better, definitely could look worse. I don't mind it. It's good for a library, I like it. Pretty big and extravagant. And then we'll have to add a lot of interior decor to it. And we'll have to add some around it. And like some garden decor and stuff to it. Okay, let's go sleep. Check my phone because I have a bunch of notifications for some reason or another. Oh, hush, puppy. Hush your mouth. You're just roughing because I made a noise. But 
Now I want to do an outline for a different project, even though I still have to finish that one. Because I want to know how the other project would fit into the area. So I'm going to use, I think, spruce wood to lay down the framework, just outline on the ground. Which means I can put away most of this for now, because I won't have the time to finish the interior decor today. And then I can grab the spruce wood we have and figure out how I want to outline it. So, the other project that I want to do very soon is the sheep barn, because we need a sheep barn with a bunch of different sheeps. Sheeps. Sheep. Um... I'm thinking also over here will be the llama barn, like llama stalls, which will just be a traditional little like 3x3 three three stalls, a few of them in a row. We'll do what floor and then a building and then one. Two. Three. Four. There we go. We've got something simple like that where we'll just do a simple little stall area. Probably cut it back into the mountain a little bit, actually. And it's just like And the build will be like this, and then we'll have the stalls, and this is just going to be simple little market stall style, like basic, really basic um, mob stalls so that we can keep any llamas we start collecting, because I do want to start collecting some llama friends. Just got a simple way to kind of cut back the mountain a tiny bit for now. There we go. So there's that. And then I need a sheep barn. And I'm thinking the sheep barn is going to be probably over here by the woods since we have a lot of sheep that spawn in here. Um, we can probably do one corner of it right here. And then do it as... I need it to be a bunch of stalls, so I don't know how I want to do this. Thinking maybe do it similar to the uh, horse build, where there's just kind of like a... One, two, three, four, five... Little barn like this. And then we'll do some stalls off of it, so maybe like... Uh, in kind of a weird pattern, so maybe like we'll do like uh, one, two, three, one. We'll do stalls like this. Because we don't need m that large of stalls since it'll be each stall will be a different color of sheep and there'll only be a couple per color. And we need all the colors though. So we need to do it on both sides probably to get to fit all of them. So let's say red, orange, yellow. We'll do kind of a common area right here-ish, or maybe there, and then we'll do back one. Something like this, right, because they're... How did that get messed up? Oh, because that one's based off of the... So this one would be actually one back to be the same size. The stalls. 
Alright, so red, orange, yellow, lime, green, light blue, blue, do a little corner build here maybe. I'm going to do Um, I don't know how many colors we need. I'm just realizing that it's red, orange, yellow. Let me add one more. Red, orange, yellow, lime, green, light blue, dark blue, cyan, magenta, purple. Pink. I need to like look up a list of all of the colors. Okay. So let's do this again. <laughs> let's recount. Red, orange yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, dark blue, purple, magenta, pink, and then we have like brown, black, gray, light gray, which I think we could section off in the main center here if we finish this to attach over here. and then make this a big pen area and this big pen area could have a few sections as well maybe honestly here okay this is kind of dumb to re-destroy everything that we were just doing but I have an idea and it's not playing out correctly with the fact that I did this weird hi puppy how are you doing? I love you I'm puppy dog so I think we have to make the barn a five by five. I your puppy dog. I your puppy dog. Discord is telling me I have one new message. That's interesting. So yeah, we have to make the barn squared, and then we have to do. We're just going to do them as three by threes. Makes it much easier to count. So, uh, one. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do a five by five build right here. And we'll do one. Two, three, four. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pens, and we need a total of sixteen. Because there's sixteen colors. But if we have twelve and we have this big area, we can add and then thirteen. Actually fourteen because of the two barns could have a couple colors. Although no, because then they wouldn't regen there. Because that would be wood flooring, not um they would have wood flooring, not the uh grass, so that wouldn't work. But I think we could fit the other four colors into this big area somehow. Uh, like the brown, or the black, light gray, dark gray, white. Maybe even keep them all kind of in this big area, just free roaming. And then make posts across here. One, two, three, four, five. Something like this, I think, would be the ideal setup for the sheep barn. Because then we also have that really large area to be able to breed a bunch of the white sheep before we start sectioning them off to make them individual colors. And I think the wood I'd use would probably be these being barrels and then doing like oak wood to kind of match in with the other. Actually, probably actually dark oak wood as the posts and then oak wood as kind of the tie in stuff or spruce to make it kind of make do a good mix between that build and that build since it's in between the two yeah I think this will be good for a nice little sheep area and it covers a big part of this platform which is nice because we need more of this platform to be used because then we'll start branching out into more areas of the world as well and what I also want to do is do a bridge across the water over here from like here to the island so it's easier to get over there probably just a really simple one that goes up a couple blocks as it travels sorry I'm yawning so yeah that's some more ideas to do for builds What else do we need? We need like a blacksmithy area. We need like another chicken coop. Another chicken coop would probably be fine to do somewhere in between over there, like maybe even right here. Just a little baby chicken coop right here. Or it's just a little one with a little pen. Something like that. And then we could do a little decorative build here of some sort, we could do a little decorative build or a big fountain and garden area, you know what, actually like a big fountain area might be cool here to make it a little more natural looking we can probably even expand this forest out a little bit towards this build to connect it all a little bit more expand this forest out a tiny bit, like out to about here so that it's a little more filled in. We could do a big decorative build here. Or a small decorative build here. I'm trying to plan out this platform as best I can. But anyways, let's sleep. I definitely want to start the sheep build very soon because I want that to be able to um, do a bunch of the decorative builds that I want to do and stuff. I need to have a bunch of the colorful wool. For example, I want to do like a campsite type build somewhere. Um, or at least one of them, because I know I had another idea for one that was further away from the house, but I want to do one closer to the house area too. 
Don't be messing with stuff underneath the chair, honey. It is time for me to get off though because I do have to do some other prep stuff for the rest of the day and I have to uh, um, get her outside to go to the bathroom and yeah I just need to get off for the day as much as I want to keep focusing on this build. Um, so I will uh, leave it at that for now. We have a bunch of ideas, we've got some more decorating to do to that build. Everything's going to start pulling itself together in this corner very well so that we have a little bit more of a completed platform, I think. Because um, there's no point to leave that center part of still spawning mobs when I have this area over here, so I'm probably going to just kind of start filling in this area with lighting, and once I have this area started to fill in pretty well, I can start adding in a lot of the pathways, like we can make a pathway to the follower garden which we need to visit more often and we need to finish setting up. Um, we can make a pathway to like each of the farms, like all that sort of stuff where we can start actually like fully decorating things and making it look a little more professional and making it not just have scattered torches and stuff and just have one section of the world that's actually sort of finished and in place. Um, cause I really want to do that. So that'll be cool. But for now, that's all I have for today. I have to get my dog out, then I have to do some other stuff for the day. And then it'll be a busy night, so yay for me. Um, to everyone that has stopped by today, I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!